Rainbows, an everyday occurrence. Double rainbows, maybe not quite as common, and triple rainbows, virtually unheard of, but we saw one in Alaska last week. We'll show it to you here in just a second. I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi. Join alongside meteorologist Chris Claus. We'll get to Chris here in just a second, but I want to start things off by showing you this absolutely magnificent, a beautiful triple rainbow. This is about, by the way, 45 minutes to the north of Anchorage near the town of Palmer, and that one courtesy of the National Weather Service up in Anchorage. Tweeting this out today caught my eye right away, and this, by the way, uh, we'll get into some of the science behind rainbows to explain how this rare triple rainbow happened. By the way, only before 2011, only six recorded occurrences of a triple rainbow, just to give you an idea of how rare they are. And so when you get, of course, a rainbow, you want to have the sun behind you. And then right ahead of it, of course, is the rain. And when the light from the sun goes into uh, the cloud or the raindrops that are falling, of course, that's when you get the rainbow as a, basically an optical illusion. So you have the light refracted inside of a rain droplet. And the double rainbow, essentially a double reflection. So it's usually off the bottom or off the top of a raindrop, and then it'll bounce back off the other side of it, and that's what causes a double reflection or a double rainbow. And because of the double reflection, you're looking at a bit more of a faint second rainbow out that way. I know it's a lot of information for you guys to process here, but hang with me for just a second because I'm going to explain the curve as well. And the curve is a 42 degree angle, and what you basically need to take away, it's the angle at which you're looking at the rainbow that causes that curve between the sun and the observer. So it's the angle that you're standing up from the ground that causes that. And here's a little bit more of an example. In fact, a picture I took just a couple of weeks ago at a soccer game, and you can see the rain going away from it, the darker clouds on the right-hand side of your screen, and the sun towards the left-hand side, and that is what causes that, of course, that rainbow. A beautiful one indeed. And this, a double rainbow in Nairobi, Kenya. They can occur anytime, anywhere, and one place that could see them once again is Alaska. And for more on that, let's turn things over to meteorologist Carissa Claus. Carissa? Very good explanation. I learned a lot there about Thank you. double, triple, even a quadruple rainbow you said happened in Germany back in 2011. A lot of interesting facts there and we could see some more rainbows throughout Alaska. A lot of cloud cover in Anchorage. You can see from this picture earlier during the evening hours on Tuesday. And we're looking for more cloud cover pretty much across the entire state, even towards inland uh, Canada as well. And we've got more storm systems expected to approach bringing the potential for rain Rainfall. Past 24 hours, haven't seen a whole lot of rainfall. Juno, nearly a quarter of an inch, but otherwise nothing more than a few hundredths of an inch. But we could see some snow in the higher elevations, two to four inches possible in the northern parts of the state. Otherwise, scattered shower activity possible as we work our way into Wednesday and Thursday.